welcome in to another episode of Shade House. Shade House is a place where we have six sims that live together and we look at the nonsense and the shenanigans as it happens. Last week, so much happened. Felatio continues to be the worst cop in the entire universe, but all cops are bad, so who's surprised? He's been hooking up with people that he arrests. Rebecca and Bella are seeing each other more, but it seems like they're just kind of having fun. Doesn't seem like they're actually serious. They might just be having a good time. Harvest Fest was very interesting. They spent some time right in front of my omelet, and nobody really enjoyed the holiday because they were all being nasty. The only one who actually really enjoyed her holiday was Abby B. Miller, who attempted homicide on Wander Bread by trying to poison him, but she was the worst assassin in the entire world because she kept poisoning the floor instead of the food. And then she decided to join a gang called the Thotties to make sure that she could exact her revenge on him and eventually take him out. Considering that she's like the worst assassin, I don't think it's gonna happen. And Shingo and Sean are absolutely warming up. They disturb the peace at the festival and they woohooed in the middle of the entire festival, alarming everyone, disturbing everyone, but I'm glad that they're at least working out as a couple. So let's see what happens this time in the House of Shade. I know who it was. It was Abby, wasn't it? She's feeling very powerful. That felt great and they totally deserved it. She beat up Felatio. For what? He was bullied. It's painful when someone hates on you for no reason. We can't tolerate that on Shade House. So in light of this new information, I think that we're going to have to unfortunately remove Abby from the premises because we can't be having Sims who are going to be beating up other Sims. It's Halloween. It is Halloween today. So to celebrate Halloween, we will be moving out Abby B. Miller. On top of the fact that she already tried to poison Wander Bread like twice and didn't manage to kill him. The assassination attempt wasn't successful. I think we need to move her out, unfortunately. So she's got to go. Poncho's very sad that Abby's leaving. Welcome to Shade House, our newest member. This is Drew. She is an officer of the law. One of her aspirations is being an undercover agent. She wants to reach level 10 of the secret agent career. So currently she is underneath the officer route. Sean Cody is out here just swinging all of his goodies around for the new roommate. It is Halloween today. So I think we should try and do some mischievous stuff. We want to get into a remembrance spirit and a spooky spirit, and also wear costumes. To participate, click your sim and select wear costume. Sean Cody's getting a phone call. Hey Sean, I've been feeling pretty down in the dumps lately. Nothing seems to be going my way. I figured if anybody could cheer me up, it's you. Oh, that's so cute. Try to cheer him up. Ah, uh, yes, I guess that's true. I do make the world brighter with my smile. I feel so much better now. Thanks, Sean. Oh, they're so cute. Phil and Kate do not like each other at all. Look at this. It's very offensive. The relationship is tense. Oh, wear costume. Let's see what this maid costume is like. Oh, I was thinking you were going to be like in a little clue type of a maid outfit. Drew Peacock. Let's give you a space ranger. How about that? <laughs> then Rebecca will be a clown for this one. We'll change her makeup. So she'll actually have like a full face. <laughs> she looks so sad. For Sean, make it like slutty Darth Vader or something, you know? A slutty bunny for Halloween. And then Wonder Bread, we're gonna give Selena. Kate Denson, we can give Trapper. There we go, Kate's gonna be a slutty Trapper. For Felatio, he can be Pyramid Head. We've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. 
Do you think we should do it? We want to, but we're not sure. Okay, this is really rude and disrespectful. You have been messing around with Rebecca Moore for the last several weeks. And now you want to ask if you and Mortimer should have a baby? No, I don't think that's a good idea. That is a terrible idea because you've been messing around with Rebecca. No. I guess you're right. That was so rude. Toxic. Do we want to still keep pursuing Bella after that rudeness just now? Good thing we're a clown for Halloween because we got played by Bella Goth. Let's go trick-or-treating. Let's knock on this door. Oh, nobody came with us. Hello? Oh, it looks like it's just us. Remember when Cassandra Goth burned down her home? There's still remnants here from when she burned her home down because she had a really bad self woohoo. Well, I guess there's no candy to have here. This is the lamest Halloween ever. You know what we should do? Hold on. We need to go and find out what the heck Bella's issue is. You have a baby on the way. I don't want to be dramatic. But Bella's about to get her weave snatched. So she's really just been having a good time. She just really was having a little hee hee ha ha kiki ka ka. At Rebecca's expense, she feels really upset and sad. Tears of a clown. Oh, Bella Goth. Yeah. Sorry, your wig is snatched off. Uh -uh. Really? That's what you get for playing with my heart. Don't you go playing with Rebecca Moore's heart or you are gonna lose your wig. That's what happens when you are musty, Bella Goth. We're about to ride in this house. Oh no. <laughs> Bella's like, don't worry, you're still a star. This is sad. I'm not afraid of sadness, even when, it, when feeling sad. Just trying to understand and keep it under control. Hold on. Should we go beat him up too? Honestly, if it hadn't been for you, if you hadn't been here, then Rebecca wouldn't be feeling sad and Bella would be happy in being a lesbian right now. She introduced herself. She said, hi, hello, it's me, Rebecca Moore, famous frock destroyer. It was cock and ball torture! <laughs> it was cock and ball torture! I've done that. <laughs> and the kids are just so unbothered. Look, his daughter like doesn't even care. <laughs> kind of feel bad. I don't feel bad at all. She's trying to make some sugar cookies. Touch me and I'll sue you. I've already booked a lawyer. <laughs> Appropriate, please stop, Bella says. <laughs> She's making everything she can in the kitchen. She started some sugar cookies. She started up, I don't even know what that is. She's trying to start a fish pie. Enough is enough. I'm going to ask you to leave now. <laughs> okay. If you insist, Bella. If you insist that we go. She's kicking us out of her home. This was the worst Halloween ever but also the best because I beat up your sad, pathetic louse of a husband. Ah. Sims looking for love are in the right place. It's singles night. How awkward when you show up on your Halloween date and your date did oh, not okay. dress up. Isn't that the New Year's song? Oh, he sang back. <laughs> <laughs> this is 
<laughs> not what I was expecting at all. They've been seeing each other for several weeks now. So I feel like the two of them are a very cute couple. The two of them look good together. They're boyfriends now. Now there's none of this wondering. Yes, come on, coordinated dancing. They're perfect together. Just Mender's here. Oh, awkward. Are Arun and Jasmender getting back together or something? They can't be. It makes me suspicious. Why are they here together? They divorced and Arun is married to Samantha Karen Del Rio. I would love to see Jasmender in Shade House. Okay, we're gonna go home. I think it's safe to leave now. Sorry, Arun. All the best of luck to you and your endeavors. Go take care of yourself. Go practice self-care. This house is haunted, Barbara. We love the spooky books. <laughs> it's a Sunday. It's also Day of the Dead. So, you know what we really should do? We should remember... We need to stop fighting. We can remember our favorite former Shade House member, Teresa Prosciutto, the Long Island Medium. So we're all going to travel out to Newcrest. Sean Cody just has not wanted to change out of his outfit. And Wonderbread's getting a phone call from Abby. Are you coming to see me? You know how much I miss you. I want to see your handsome face. Girly Pop, you tried to murder him twice. Third time's a charm? Oh my god, please. You have done bad things, Abby V. Miller. Did she just pull out some knives and threaten him? Or <laughs> throwing it back. Not only are you bad, but also you have crabs. It's very unpleasant now. Insult. It's sex. <laughs> That's one way to do it, I guess. We still can't break up with her. Maybe we should just go and join the rest of the family. We love you, Teresa Prosciutto. I'm sorry that last season's cast of Shade House was so fake and let you die, and they didn't have to. There's a child here! Drew Peacock is attracted to Wander Bread. That was not what I was expecting at all. I got some bad news for you, ma'am. <laughs> Wait, Wander Bread is attracted to Rebecca. Okay, paparazzi. Wait, Kate needed to deal with them. Let's ask paparazzi to leave. Can you go? Can you please leave? I'm trying to be here mourning a, a previous Shade House member and being a part of this experience while some child throws junk all over the ground. What is wrong with you, kid? Did anyone bring any snacks? Kate Denson. So as we're sitting here at the grave site, Sota is mourning Miss Teresa Prosciutto as well, as she deserves. She deserves literally all the respect in the world. Kate is so tired. We still have to make it through midnight. It's Day of the Dead for several more hours. I think that it's probably bad for him to be like flirting with anybody right now, especially with how today went. Do, I mean, is that gonna stop me? No, it is not. I, I mean, she's rebounding really hard too. Maybe the two of them just need something to help them get over the person that they were really involved with. Oh, she said no. <laughs> she said absolutely not that. She said, I know that you're trying to get over your ex, but not like this. Rebecca is unflirty. Conversation feels awkward. And Rebecca thinks that Juan is unattractive. Oh, fine then. This has been horrible. It is midnight officially, so maybe I'll send you all home. We've made it through Day of the Dead. So I'm glad that we made that. How are we supposed to slay in these conditions? <laughs> Tonight on Shade House was probably some of the most, I think, emotional and also hysterical moments that have happened so far this season. We're only on episode seven, so it can only get better from here. But basically, Rebecca and Bella are no longer a thing. Rebecca beat the crap up out of Mortimer Goth. Roundhouse kicked him into the ground. Ended things with Bella Goth, so they are no longer a thing. Abby B. Miller was removed from the house for attempting homicide, which is not good. We don't condone homicide here at Shade House or at Jeremy Inc. So she is no longer here, but we did move in. Drew Peacock, who came in at some very turbulent times and 
the only person that seems to be successful right now with any romance is Sean Cody with Shingo. So we will see how that relationship continues. They are officially dating and they are now boyfriends. So we'll see what ends up happening going forward. And next week, I'm excited to explore a little bit more of who Drew is and what her story is. But thank you for watching yet another episode of Shade House. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to click that like button. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Goodbye.